All right, guys, good morning. I look like shit. It's 6.30 in the morning, and I got to walk through that. Well, it just stopped, but damn, I missed it because I did want to walk through it because it's hot. But I just missed it. Just missed it. I was getting happy for a second. Cause yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yes, so we're all stopped. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap. No. Boy. If I wouldn't select, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Ay. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's life that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to turn my L's to a hundred. shopping again today it's a hot well the car says it's 124 degrees but it's actually like 109 outside today it's 109 degrees i got on these new lashes i bought a mess load of lashes from um aliexpress you know 100 me and i'm thinking about selling some lashes um you know on my website i'm thinking about that um because girl look when i don't have any lashes on i look like a hot mess um, well, I don't look a hot mess, but I look like I'm suffering from something. Either I look like a little naked mole rat or a turtle, a frog, whatever. But I, I look like I'm sick without my lashes. Um, and that's nobody's fault but mine's. You know what I mean? Like, I've worn these individual lashes for so many years. Like, when I'm talking about so many years, I want to say, like, probably, like, 12 years I was wearing individual lashes. And they... Like, they really destroyed my natural lashes. So, my lashes are super short now. They are, my lashes are short, short. They're so short, you can't even see them short. And so, I'm letting them grow back in. I've been doing some meditation mentally. And I'm saying that, like, seriously, because can't nobody go outside without lashes. I know I can't, but for me, it's hard. So, I've been meditating mentally to be able to go out without lashes and there are days when I do go out without lashes. But today I put these on and goddamn, I put it on. I put one on better than the other. So this one is up too far. This one is perfect. Now, neither one of them are great, to be honest. But we just gonna pretend like we don't see that. But yeah, so I'm out shopping. I had to go with my son this morning to his appointment. And now I'm out here, 109 degrees. I was going to bring Tinky with me, but I just figured, you know what? Let me get my stuff done early. Um, I had to come here and get some soil for those plants. I, I did have enough for one because I didn't realize the pot was so big. I should have asked my daughter, Nay, to get me four bags instead of two. So I'm out here doing that. I did pick up some groceries and I had to return something to Kohl's for Amazon. First thing I'm going to do is go into the Dollar Tree because I need some rocks. Ooh, this lash is like really fucking... I don't know which one I like better, this eye or this eye. I know this one is up way too far. Too far, okay? Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking about selling some lashes on my website. Nothing like overly priced, nothing expensive. It's the thing that I hate. When you come through any type of parking lot, especially Walmart, people will be like, 
far like you don't see the car coming you like all the way down you don't see the car coming you just trying to kill yourself because i'll pop you up on my hood sometimes like i can't stand it like yes pedestrians are always right but girl if you see the car coming why are you still coming like we are in a parking lot but anyway i'm going to dollar tree because i got to get some things for the plant like some of those like decor rocks the little tiny rocks it's always best to put those inside of your soil they're not inside of your soil but on top of your plant soil so that way you don't attract any type of gnats like fungus gnats or whatever on your plant so that's what i came here for um i did have some for the other plant and i used all three bags so i didn't have enough and girl look i will i, I park all the way down here at the end of the parking lot just so i don't get any sun in my car like i have a visor but honey it's critical out here you have to make sure that you have all the shade 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 is crucial so if you find some shade like me personally i don't really mind if my car is parked all the way to the back because then i don't have nobody hitting it scratching it like none of that stuff like just you just stay away from it but anyway so yeah that's what i'm doing out here now about to go into the dollar tree um see what's new with the dollar tree too yeah so i will see you guys inside or i'll see you guys at walmart because this part of the video walmart is for dollar tree is not included in this vlog my lips are so dry yes i got a bun i got my own natural hair out girl like i said it's too hot out here 109 degrees ain't nobody wearing no wig i don't want no half wig on i don't want no headband wig on i don't want nobody if i didn't have no hair i would be gelling the shit down if i didn't have enough hair to put in the bun girl i would be gelled the fuck down i am not about to be putting on no wig out here serious not it's not even that serious to have to wear a wig in this degree of weather so yeah oh these are cute look at that these are cute for a dollar. All right, guys. So I went to the Dollar Tree, spent only $21. Amazing for me. Well, sometimes I do get it like that, you know? I didn't really need much. Um, they did have some new things, not a lot. And then I went right next door to Walmart to see if they had some of the Miracle Grow indoor plant soil. None of that. So I just knew I should not even have went to Walmart, so I came here to Home Depot because they have it here they always have it here um but you know i figured i'll just go to walmart it was right next door but home depot was actually the next block on my way home so no big deal so we here it is blazing hot out here i don't want to keep coming outside i've been going since like 9 45 this morning and i'm over it like i just gotta go home and sit down the girl is, is burning up like this is ridiculous it's so freaking hot this it's so hot i'm ready to like move to alaska it's so hot it's so hot like i'm just gonna hibernate for the rest of the summer and just not come outside that's the one good thing when you got kids that got their own cars you could just send them to the store you know what i mean be like oh well can you just go for me and get me some something you know could you go to the dollar tree sometimes nay will go to the dollar tree for me and she'll just facetime me when she gets there and she'll show me like if you know not on the days like i really want to go like but if i really need some but i don't feel like going she'll go to the store for me and she'll just facetime me she'll go grocery shopping for me like you know i don't i don't really eat much of anything different i always eat like the same stuff all the time so she knows what i want and then she just gets stuff you know for her and mumsy stuff like that so so this is the garden section so it must be we gotta be over here right no duh then after this, I'm going home and I'm going to have me a drink. I bought me some cheap wine from um, Aldi's. Their Moscato um, wine is really actually good, so I bought some of that. Oh, these plants are cute. These are pretty plants, but I'm not about to pay $40. So I did that. And um, hi, how are you? Um, oh, these are pretty plants. Um, so that's all I came to do here. Um, Miracle Grow. Okay, I see the one that I don't use, but I'm hoping that they do have the one that I use. Not this humongous bag. Oh my god. Oh wow, it's only $14. Oh no, that's not the one. I don't, I don't want that big bag. Okay. Oh, here we go. Right here. Yes. 
Um, somebody's gonna have to get me the other one because it's all the way in the back unless I find some type of stick to pull it forward with because I hate waiting for somebody to do something for me. Oh, here goes a broom. Look, well, yes, I'm gonna take this broom right here. Oh, it ain't even a broom, it's a pole. Okay. Perfect. Because I wasn't about to wait for nobody. You know how you wait for people. They take forever to come. And I'm not saying that they should. Oh, and this work. Perfect. I was looking for these two. For those pots. Because they're really big pots. And I need a um, thing to put underneath them. I hope this one is big enough. They look like it should be. These look really cheap, though. They're only $1.98. They're so flimsy. Like, I was really looking for something that's a lot more sturdier. But I will take these until I get some from Amazon. Because I'm pretty sure Amazon got some. So, maybe I'll just double them up. Well, now I don't want to pay $8. You know, I don't really want to pay $8. So, I'm going to just get two. And um, maybe I can find some sturdier ones. They got some really nice plants in here, though, you guys. Look at these pretty plants. They got some really nice plants. How much are they? $12. Oh, these are nice. They look like they, they well taken care of. $24. These are nice. Let me ask this young lady. I'm sorry to bother you guys, but I just have one question. So she done told me, show me where they were at. Perfect. There's some brown ones. Hopefully I can find like, um, and they're $4.98 each. So hopefully I can find like some black ones. But if not, then I'll just get these and spray paint them. I don't really care. And maybe not spray paint them because, you know, they will, um, the spray paint will, um, probably after over time, well, they don't have any black ones. Dang. I really wanted some black ones, but I'll take that color, you know? Yeah, I'll take that color. It's hot. I have to come outside. It's too hot out here. Girl, I feel like I'm about to die. Yeah, I think that's the only color they have is that rust color. I mean, I guess I could. Um, dang, dang, dang. Maybe I should just wait and get them on Amazon. Because it's a plant saucer. That's what they're called. Let me look on Amazon because I'm about to pay $5 for something that I really don't want. Um, You know, but I could, like, I could... um spray paint it if, but I don't want the water to um take the paint off okay so I just I just bought the um the terracotta looking color um that rustic color um plants thing I just bought that color because that's all they had and then when I looked on Amazon um I didn't see any I like I was on the app in the store looking for some and they was like really pricey for, for those plastic things. They wanted like $24 for one. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to spray paint mine. I'm not about to pay $24 for some plastic saucer for my plants. That's not about to happen. So that's what I did. I just, you know, I'm just going to do that. But the young lady who was helping me, she was so sweet, so nice. It's so nice to see like our own people so nice and helpful. You know, sometimes some people have jobs and they don't even want to help. They act like they mad. They get an attitude if you ask them for help. I mean, like, what you come for a job for? What do you work here for? But, um, yeah, she was so nice and pleasant to me um, and everything. And we were just walking through the store talking. And see, I like vibes like that. Because first of all, I didn't want to be out. You know, it's hot. She was like, I, you know, she's like, is it hot? I said, girl, it's hot. It's hot out here. I'm hot. She said, I'm sweating. It's hot. And she said, in the South, they call it glistening. I said, well, in New York, we call it it's hot as hell. But she was so nice. You know what I mean? It's so nice to meet people out in public who just, you know, just give you a good vibe and stuff. But I got my soil, got my plants, um, pot saucer, and now I'm about to take my ass home. You know what I'm saying? I got meat in the, in the car. I got groceries in the car. It's too hot for my groceries to be out here. So I hope my cheese did not melt. Like, for real, I hope my cheese didn't melt. It's too damn hot. Look, I got a whole car full of groceries, okay? So, I need to go home. 
Girl, look, it's too damn hot. It's too damn hot. Look how, fake, how red my face is now. Super red. Right, you guys. So I'm going to go home. Oh, child. I'm going to have to take me a shower or something. I'm hot, perspiring, glistening, whatever. Honey, I'm glistening. two of my buddies with me which is tinky man and my two-year-old grandson julian we're gonna go to the car wash right and first i'm gonna put some on my tires to make sure my tires is correct rather i'm gonna check the air pressure on my tires because it just says low tire pressure and then we're gonna go to the car wash but meanwhile i'm gonna have to put on julian's sneaker because he has this thing for sneakers and if you take, if you, he don't want you to take his sneakers off or nothing. All right, I said I'm gonna put them on. Just chill out. I'll be back. Are you happy? Say you happy, cause I've tied your shoe and put your shoe on. Yeah. Say you happy. Yeah. You think somebody gonna steal your damn Jordan? Say you happy. He really have a whole attitude if he try to take his shoes off. Like, it don't matter what shoes it is. It could be some flip-flops. He will not let you take his shoes off. I be trying to tell him, like, yo, I'm not trying to steal your shoes. I can't even fit them. What I'm supposed to do, hang them in my windshield? Like, that's the only place I can put them little shoes. Now, say you happy. You happy because you got Cousin Tinky with you, yeah. Look, give hugs to Cousin Tinky. Aww. <laughs> That's your buddy. Sit down and think right. All right, so about to put some t check my tire pressure and put his seatbelt back on. I forgot to get his little car seat for my son, but put his seatbelt back on because he just be doing the most. He, you didn't know why you take your seatbelt off. You're supposed to have it on. Why you swither out of it? So I don't really know how much air I put in there because the one that I always use that I first went to, it has a gadget or you know a thing where you can put your tire pressure where it's supposed to be and it'll stop at that but this one is free air so you know it doesn't give you that option so as long as the air the tire pressure air thing went off on my car then it's cool but the one that i normally use is right down the street from my house and i have to pay for that it's a dollar fifty but the machine wasn't working so then i went to the next one circle k and that machine wasn't working either. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to come to QT. You better get your feet off my car door. And I used their free air. But I don't, like I said, I don't know how much air pressure I put in there because there's no option to see how much. You just push the button and it says free air. Well, we're going to go get the car wash now. And, um, you know, if I got enough air in there, it's cool. It's not, it'll tell me. But, I mean, I take free air. I like free air. Shit, I like anything free. Well, not anything, but let me... So we are here at the car wash. Yes. Who likes the car wash? I do the best. What do we think about the car wash? Good. We even opened up the sunroof, the glass top. So that way. Uh huh. So you can see it, yeah. Yeah. So we opened that up. I can literally see the clouds. We can see the clouds? Cool, right? That one right there looks like a bone. A bone? A bone? Yeah. Hmm. I never keep the um the glass top open. I, I don't I don't like this open. No. Not no, not in the summertime, girl. It be y'all. It be too hot. Yeah. Okay. Too hot. The sun be, will burn your skin off. Okay. So I don't I don't need it reflecting above my head. It burn your skin off, right? Yeah, you have no skin. Yeah, you'll have no skin. Ah! So. For the car wash, we're going to leave it open so Julian can see it. He stayed getting out that car, that, that damn seatbelt. Yeah. Oh, it's still on him at least. But I know y'all going to say something like, where's his car seat? His car seat is in my other car, in my truck that my son has. So I forgot to get it. So don't judge me. But we're just, we're not going anywhere. He's safe. You know, I don't want a ticket though. That's for sure because I don't roll around like this. But... I'm kind of like doing under the speed limit, but I still know somebody's going to say something, but hey, nobody's perfect. But anyway, got some air in my tire, got 
getting ready to get a car wash. I really wanted to clean it out on the inside first because it's a little dusty in here. Like, that's a little... Did you say yeah? Yeah. You said my car is dusty inside? Yeah. Why? It ain't dusty. Okay guys, that was a task because I had to clean the inside out also. And normally when I go to the car wash to clean the inside out, you know, it's free. They give you the free vacuum thing, it's all attached, you know, it's all free. But I try to go to like a, da a dock, I guess that's what you want to call it, a well, I don't know, um, where there's no cars. And even though people can pull up alongside of you and um, the vacuum their car, I try to steer clear for that because once you open your doors, it's not much elbow room, you know what I'm saying? So when I got, when I pulled in, there wasn't any cars. I was by myself. And, um, and like I said, it's, it's just like parking. It's just like a parking lot, but not really a parking lot, but the cars are closed. So when you're yanking those vacuums off the thing, with the big holes, the next car, if they have their door open, it's very hard to uh, maneuver around. So I was in that area for like, probably like two, three minutes by myself until two other cars pulled alongside of each of me. So I made it a little bit harder, a little more complicated for me to vacuum the inside of my car out. And though it wasn't that dirty, I guess that was the plus. It wasn't, you know, so so messy inside. Mainly it was like the drinks that I had inside, which was only three. But yes? Okay, get your feet down. Get your feet down. Okay, just leave them. I'll do it, Tinky. I'll do it. Um, and stop. All right, stop. And um, so it made it a little bit harder for me to um maneuver around. But, you know, I did what I could. It wasn't really dirty inside. I just had to throw out, like, two water bottles and my Premier um, drink. And um, I have dog treats on the side of my door, which I keep there. I don't know why. I should just threw them out because Pancake's so, she's so picky and finicky. She don't even like them, like. And they're the little bacon ones. Should be too picky for me. Like, I know which ones I'm going to put in the side of the door, though. I know exactly which ones. And then when I did have those ones in the car, too, she don't even, she don't like to eat while I'm driving. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is, if it's a dog thing or what, but she don't like eating while driving. Like, she be acting too bougie for me. Like, she's part of the bougie gang, okay? And not me. But then as we went through the car wash, I don't know if y'all heard me on the phone, but um, I probably, I don't know if I'm going to mute it out the video or not, but um, one of my um, favorite YouTubers has called me. I love her so much. Um, her name is Joy, Joy Amor, and it's so funny because I was following her and never knew that she'd been following me since uh, she was like, I think 14 or 15 years old. She'd been following me for 14 years since I started YouTube. She was in high school following me, okay? So it's so funny when you don't realize like the people that you follow now have been following you your whole entire youtube life you know what i'm saying so i've been on here for 14 years okay i've been on youtube for 14 freaking years and i'm not gonna say anything bad about it but i will say that it has changed tremendously since the time that i started like the upload experience the adsense experience the banners like we didn't have any of that when we first started. You just go on YouTube and you didn't get paid. 
You didn't get no banners on your channel. You didn't get no AdSense. There was no ad revenue then. So you just did it for the fun of it. And that's what it was all about for me. It was all about fun. And I was trying to make friends and you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So that's what it was for me. And it still is like, you know, but I do get compensated. But, um, you know, and it has helped me a lot in my life, like with making friends, with moving to another part of the country. You know what I'm saying? Or to the part of the United States, uh, from New York to, you know, to the West Coast, to Arizona. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it has helped me with a lot of things. Um, and I, I owe a lot to my subscribers, for real, because y'all don't really understand. Like, I've been here for a while, and I am considered an OG of YouTube. And though I don't really like the term OG, uh, but you know what I'm saying? That, it gives, I guess it, it has like a title of its own. It's a, like a respect type of title. And I appreciate that. So, you know, I, I'm here for the long run. I don't know if I get wrinkles. Am I still going to be up on here? But um, as long as YouTube is alive and kicking, I'm going to be here alive and kicking with it. And it was it was so nice to watch Joy's video that she had did about the OGs at YouTube and stuff because she has said so many things about me and my journey in life on YouTube that, you know, I was just amazed. Like, wow, girl, you remember all of that? And like, dang, you reminded me of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it was amazing. Like, and, and the best part about it was she know all this about me from the day one. And now she got her own YouTube channel, which is so beautiful. She has been growing and growing on with her YouTube channel and you know I appreciate that and I hope you guys check her YouTube channel out because her personal <clears throat> her personality excuse me I'm about to choke her personality is just like in a lane of its own she has this beautiful personality this beautiful aura about her you know how you can look at a person and you can just tell that they are just happy from within you know what I'm saying and it, you can tell that it like it like transfers out into the world like you understand what i'm saying so i love that personality i love that about her and it was just so crazy because i was in her comments and she was like oh my god i love you i've been following you for years and i was like wow so you know what i'm saying like youtube is like it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing and then you know you have your your people on here that like like to start drama and like to start shit you know what i'm saying like i've had my drama over the past couple of weeks <laughs> I mean, like people say, like there have been so many comments about me, like she's so unproblematic, like she don't even bother nobody. Why are you bothering her for? She never bothers anybody. She's been on here for years and she's non-problematic. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's true. I don't bother nobody. I don't start Hi, nothing. I don't bother nobody. But if you want to get clout, I guess you can come to me. I don't know. I, I don't even get the views like I used to, but I guess it's the amount of subscribers I have. I, I don't know. But um, yeah. So, and you know, I don't let those type of people that want clout and have mean things to say about me bother me because at the end of the day, girl, like, do you have anything to do with your life? Like, <laughs> you know, when you come for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, when you come for me, I laugh it off because, girl, I'm going to come back for you. I don't know who you think you are, but I'm going to definitely come back for you. And, and I'm going to just leave it at that. You can keep coming for me every day, girl. You still not going to win. You still ain't going to win. And um, I'm not going to waste my time coming for you every single day like um, one particular person has done. You know, and that's cute, though. I find it to be flattering because when you go to their channel, you see a bunch of thumbnails of bad quality of me. And I think that that's really cute and it's flattering to the utmost because it's like, aw, poo-poo. Aw, little puppy is in love. She's like little puppy love. You know what I'm saying? So I find that flattering like, oh, okay, you know who the fuck I am. But do you really know who the fuck I am? But it's like, you're not even worth my time. Like, literally, you're definitely not worth my time. Not because you don't got the numbers or nothing like that. It's just because you're definitely not worth my time. I wouldn't even give you that. Like, I gave it to you twice. I might even give it to you three times when I'm bored. You know, one, two, three strikes. That's it. I'm not about to give you that much, you know, recognition. I'm not even giving you any recognition. You, listen, it's a funny thing. And I, you know what, when, when you bored and you, you, you know, I have my days when I want to be petty too and not be petty, but like, I'll come, I'll combat you. You know what I'm saying? Like I've seen nasty comments sometimes and I pay it no mind. Cause it's like, who the fuck are you? But at, 
But there are days when you have striking me the wrong way, and I'll be like, you know what? Today, I definitely got time. Stop. I definitely got time today. I definitely have time. And I'll be having time. <laughs> I always got time. And I feel like sometimes, you know, if you want to you wanna come for me, you know, I'm going to have time for you. I may, I'll make time for you. Dig it. Dig it. We're sinking. We're sinking. Go find them. Call them. Go find Sinky. Go find Sinky.